Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes. Landing gear fixing action, baby. Alright guys, you guys know I'm tired of playing with this gear. I got that big old mammoth motor hooked up. Uh -oh, make sure y'all can still see. It's a beast. <laughs> That weighs the same amount as that air cylinder. Okay, guys? And the old my battery guy stepped up to the plate. Uh, he's gonna, he said, I don't wanna use A123s on something like this. Cause if it does get binded somehow, then the battery gets hot, it could start on fire. So he said, we gotta use A123s, but he's gonna give me the small cells, be a tiny little battery pack. Charge it in the morning and fly all day. Not worry about landing gear. Check this out. Bam, baby. Already, <laughs> already know where I'm gonna put one of the little limit switches. Or one of my micro switches, I'm gonna put the other one right there somewhere. I have two little switches. That motor just, it's not even working. People. Go all the way down up there and pull it tight. No need for no locks, because it ain't no, won't be the air cylinder. Won't have no give. It'll be solid once it's up there. Someone said something about to, uh, when the gear's down, won't they collapse when you turn it on? Oh, no. And once you turn it off, unplug it even. It's not going nowhere, baby. That's the thing about them air valves, a lot of them release to the air, then your gear go flop. Oh no. You turn these off and uh, they're right there until you turn it back on again and flip that switch. Uh, they're going to go right there. Uh, they fit in there good, Mr. Wheel. Um, I've been shopping on the internet. You know that's a dangerous place. <laughs> and I found some of these same motors. They're a little bit smaller a little bit shorter. Same planetary gear system without a plastic case. They actually got an aluminum case. 22 bucks. Okay, and I paid nine for this motor. And then I could just slip it in a wing tube. Same thing I did there, make me a simple mountain bracket. And then I could use my same air cylinder mount. Also, I googled planetary gears. Okay, and I got some robotic sites. And I found these really cool Fingali things. They're kind of a collapsible, don't take him any room. I can mount it on my same air cylinder mount. They got limit switches built in, so they'll only go so far. And then they're 4RC, so we can plug them straight into the receiver. Okay, and they're 80 bucks a piece. They got like 12 pounds of thrust, 45 Newtons. But. One Newton is like 2.25, so I'm taking four Newtons make one pound, so I, th I believe it's about 12 pounds a pull, which is buku, man, buku. And a real simple installation, guys. I mean, unbolt my air cylinder, bolt this thing back in. I'll have to make a connecting rod, but uh, no big deal. But either way, I think. I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and order another one of them planetary gears, but I don't know. I kind of want to order one of them Fugali things, but I'm kind of tapped out in the moment that trip to Cali did me in. But, uh, um, man, I'd sure like to buy some of them Fugali things. They're cool. I'll put a link to it in this video. Maybe you guys have had, they're, they're a linear servo, uh, linear actuator servo. They're actually a servo. 
they they can even be hooked up for portion little guys like on a you know your slide rail thing they're a proportional deal and uh, with no no I wouldn't have to have no micro switches they're actually lighter than this which would be save way to take weight off of that air cylinder and uh, I know that thing's gonna work awesome on the nose gear but I gotta wait till the end of the month before I can order any parts fortunately I'm not I was born good looking not rich <laughs> I don't have this bolted in yet, it's just sitting in there. But I figured out on the gear ratio, on them Servo City things, okay, they had a 14 tooth pinion and that great big old uh, three 200 some, uh, it's a six, six inch uh, gear, but and it ends up to 93 degrees. Well, look at this, this goes a little past 90, so I'm going to be perfect with them two gears is made for this. See how they go, it goes a little bit past 90, so that's going to work out perfect. Perfect, perfect. And that set up with the servo and the two gears is 80 bucks. Okay, them two air cylinders alone. And they'll just plug right into my receiver. Nothing else is needed. The two air cylinders are $40 a piece and a valve, 100 bucks, 120 for the electric ones. So uh, it's going to be way cheaper than the electric ones or than the air and lighter so I'm going to save a bunch of weight on that nose gear and uh, it's going to work it's going to work all the time trouble free ain't got to mess with no air and then I'm um, for my gear doors I'm just going to use them uh, mid-size high-tech servos and they'll work these gear doors fine you can either hook them up with limit switches you know, when the when the gear go up, the, it hits the switch and then the, they'll close. Or the same sequencers I already got. Everything will just plug into the sequencers. And uh, it's going to be simple, guys. Simple, simple, simple. Light. And it's going to work all day. Charge that bad boy. In the morning, they'll be independent from the flight pack battery. But just a little battery on these two mains. Half this size. And... Uh, Charge in the morning, fly all day. Not worry about no air. Except for the chute and the brakes. Would be the on the air. And uh, bam! There we go. There we go, guys. So I'll keep you guys informed of what's happening. I can be cleaning on this shop, man. Cleaned off them shelves, cleaned out that corner. That bench was actually clean before I started this. <laughs> I got a little more cleaning to do guys and I'm going to be back in production I'm still kind of unwinded from my trip so don't give me too much static <laughs> but I'll get back after it soon and uh, you guys be tired of me again bugging you every day with these videos but until then we'll see you back in the shop St. Bob time Bob Station